Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com where a few videos ago we showed you how to create a pop-up gallery using no plugin. Here's how to create a pop-up video using no plugin using the same method. Got a little button here that says watch video. When I click on it, a little video is going to pop up and we can hit the play button and the video will start playing. When you're done watching, well, of course, you can pause and do anything you want to do with any video. You can fast forward to wherever you want. When you're done, you can stop it, start it, hit the little X to X out. Really easy to do. We're going to have to copy a little bit of code from Elegant Themes over here to do this today, but it's really easy. All it involves is a bit of copy and pasting. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. While that's enabling, let's go over to Elegant Themes and I'll put this URL down below the video. If we go about halfway down the page, we're going to find some CSS code. And we need to copy it from the B of body at the top there, all the way to the closing curly bracket at the bottom there. Simply copy it, Control C, however you like to copy things. Then we need to go over to our Divi theme options to get to your theme option. Go down to your dashboard, down to Divi, to theme options here. We're under the general tab at the top here. If we roll all the way to the bottom, we've got a custom CSS panel. At the top, whatever is there, just scoot it down a couple. You want to paste in that CSS code. Control, control V to paste or right click and paste. Once it's in there, you need to hit the save changes. I'm not going to put mine in there because I've already got it in there. Let's just undo that. And we'll save the changes. You want to make sure you put it in there. Save the changes. Till you get a little green check mark like that. Great. Now once you've got that piece of code. If we roll on just down a little bit below it. We've got a bit of JavaScript right here. And again we need to copy that from the opening script tag up there. Make sure you get everything and don't omit anything. Down to the closing script tag down here. Control C or copy however you wish. Again, we'll go to the theme options, but this time, if we go back up to the top, we're going to go over to the integration tab. Once at the integration tab, we want to add this code to the head of the blog. And again, if there's anything there, we're going to scoot it down a couple, paste in our new code at the top here. And again, I don't want to do this because I've already got mine in there down here somewhere. So I'm going to undo that. Once you've pasted yours in there, let's just put this back how it was. Make sure to go up to the top and save your changes again. Again, you'll get a little green check mark just like that. Once you've done those two things, we're good to go. So if we go back to our page now, let's go down. Now what I'm going to do is simply delete the button that I've got here for this one that's triggering it. So I'm going to go ahead and trash that one and the actual section with the video in it, I'm going to trash that and we'll start from scratch. Great. Okay, well, the first thing I want to do is create a button that we're going to use to trigger the pop up. So, to do that, I'm just going to add a regular button module. And you can use pretty much any module you want. I'm just using a button because it kind of makes sense in this scenario. And let's make it say watch video. Obviously, whatever you want to say with yours. Let's pop over to our design here. Alignment wise, I want to put it in the middle. I'm going to go down to my button and just give it a little custom styling. up. I'm going to turn this one to on. I'm not going to do too much button text. I'll leave as it is. Background colors fine as purple and blue on hover. Border width, I'm going to give it a slight border like we did with one the other day. White border there. White border is fine. Border radius, let's make it pretty big. I'll give it 30 pixels perhaps. That just to finish off, I'm going to give it a little bit of box shadow to give it a bit of a glow effect. I'm not going to have an icon on my button, so I'm going to turn that one off. Here's the box shadow. I'm going to use this one. Can't really see a whole lot, but what I'm going to do is turn that white. And we've got a little glow behind there. Okay, if we look 
at our code here, if we roll back up a little bit to above the CSS, it's going to tell us, tell us to use this class name, ETLB button one for the trigger. So I'm going to copy that, control C, we'll go back to our page, over to the advanced, custom CSS and classes, and you paste it in the class name. Now, now I've got a bit of a problem on this page. If we roll up a bit, I've got a gallery there that I'm popping up with this button. If we just save this, I look at this button, I think I've used that class name on this to pop up the gallery. So if we look at the class names here, yes, I have. So to make this work, we've got to make sure that we haven't got two of the same classes or it's going to try and pop up the same thing. So you can have as many of these as you want if I close this out, but you want to make sure that their class names are unique. So I'm going to go back into this button. To make this unique, I'm going to go to that class name. I'm going to change the one. Let's change it to a three. I think I've got another one somewhere around here as well. Great, so our button should be ready to go. Let's create the video section that we want to pop up as a light box. Let's create a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. I'm going to put a single column in there. And I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to use a video module for this today. There's the default DV video. I'm going to get rid of that and add one of my own. Hit the add video. You can upload an MP4 if you want to. I'm going to insert from a URL. Let's go over to my YouTube channel and get a URL. Now I've got that. I'm simply going to pop it in there. And our video is going to pop up. I'm going to say insert into post. And it's inserted our little video into the post. Now this is going to pop up this whole section here. So I really don't want a white background. I'm going to just make that background a little bit more exciting by going into the section, blue tab for a section, green tab for a row, dark tab for a module. Let's go into the section and background. Let's give it a quick background gradient. I'm going to make these both black. by just left clicking on the little stops here and putting the color in that I want. Now I'm going to add another one in the middle here. Yeah, let's make that one blue. And we'll bring these stops in a bit so it's a little bit blacker around the outsides. And that's it. We're good to go. And while we're in the section, if we go back to our page up here and roll up just a little bit more and do have a read of this page, it tells you all about it. It's got some great information on here. I'm just trying to get through it so you can do this as quickly as possible. And it's telling us here to assign this class name ETLB content one to whatever content you want to be popped up. So I'm going to copy that. Again, we'll go back while we're in the section, which is what we want to pop up. I'm going to go CSS IDs and classes. And I'm going to put it in there. Now remember we change this button up here to a two and we want this button to pop up this particular section. So to do that, I need to change this. Actually, it was a three we changed it to. Let's change that to a three. We'll just double check because if you don't get this right, it'll pop up the wrong thing or won't pop up anything at all. So we've got to make sure those numbers on the end correspond. Yeah, it was a three. Fantastic. Well, we, sh we should be good to go now. If I roll down to the bottom, hit the little purple button, save our page changes and exit the visual builder. We will roll on there. There's our gallery we made the other day. Here's the section we've just been working on. As you can see, or as you can't see, there's no actual video below it because it's hiding that module or that section, I should say. When we click on our little button here, it's going to pop up our video. We can hit play and do all the regular things you regularly do with a YouTube video. Great. When you're done, we've got a little X right here. We can X out. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a pop-up video with no plugin. Using a little bit of code here from Elegant Themes. Like I say, I'll put this URL down below so you can copy and paste this code. Unfortunately, I can't put this code down below because of the pointy brackets used in the scripts and things there. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video and I'll do my best to answer them for you. One thing I did discover when I've been making these is if you pop up your video and there's no X out button then, this can sometimes be caused if you're using a background pattern on it. So if you have this problem and you're using a background pattern, take the background pattern away. That should fix that problem there and this should appear. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.